What's cracking everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. Today I'm gonna do a reaction. <clears throat> Bozo. Bozo was on um Mr. Criminal. What? Mr. Criminal, I just saw that. Bozo was on No Jumper. Excuse me. Let me correct that. Bozo was on No Jumper. The name of the video is Bozo on Past Beef with Adam. South versus North, Mr. Criminal Telling, and more. Um, I'm only gonna. Sp I'm not gonna talk about the past beef with Adam, the the, the Mr. Criminal Telling thing, none of that. Uh, I'm gonna be fair, right? I'm gonna speak on. So I went straight to the one hour thirty two minute eleven second mark, where Adam's gonna ask about Rowdy Racks. Uh, Allegedly, I'm um, going to be working with uh, a northern rapper. And we're going to hear Bozo's take on it and then my two cents. Now, um, I don't, again, I don't know Bozo. I've never spoken to him in my life. I've heard that, he, you know, he has said things about me. I've never heard it. I've heard he's had things to say about me. And I, I hope that's not true. Um, and, 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 the, and the reason why, I don't have nothing against his vato. You know what I mean? I don't know him. But I do want to say it's so curious to me. Selective politicking is, is a thing, man. I mean, it's been a thing. We've known about it for a long time. But if you Google Adam 22, you Google sexual allegations made against Adam 22, it will pop up. There will be a female, her name, and her describing an alleged act that took place. And there's more than one. So... This whole, if anybody said, man, Holmes, this, this, Adam gets called a certain name for a reason, eh? you know, it trips me out. It trips me out who goes there and, 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 and interacts with this cat. You guys don't need him. Lately, I noticed uh, Adam has been kind of, you know, he's been more respectful and I, 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 I like that. I don't like him. Um, but. I am interested in what Bozo has to say. I saw a short on this. I think it was. I think it was a short I saw. And that's what made me hunt for this right now. So we're going to get into it. We're going to get my reaction to what he has to say. Really, my two cents. Right? My two cents. Um, let's get it. How do you feel about uh, Roddy Rack saying that he would do a video with a Norteño or a song? Um, I, I heard his perspective on it. You know what I mean? And I think that... um. Real quick, let me back that up. I'm going to tell you something off the top. When I saw this interview that I respect off the top. When I saw Bozo on here. You see that drink in front of him? It's water, people. Why is that important to me? Because Bozo is there for business. I mean, we see he's all blued up. You know, he's setting a, a tone. You know, he's rapping, but that's not important to me. You're in Southern California. Why, why all the blue? But that water in front of him, he's not going there smoked out, you know, all blazed out. He's not going there drunk. He's not going to fall into the bullshit. Let's get drunk and sloppy and let me slip up on what I'm saying. I respect that. His perspective on it, you know what I mean? And I think that... um. That's wishful thinking on his behalf, you know? Mm. That shit will never happen. They can't stand us, man. Mm. You know, and they, they will forever not stand us. Even if, you know, the... Let's go back. Um, that's wishful thinking on his behalf, you know? Mm. That shit will never happen. They can't stand us, man. Mm. You know, and they, they will forever... You know, the Wright brothers had some wishful thinking, and next thing you know, there's fucking planes in there every day. You know, that's may maybe some people say, ah, what the fuck kind of analogy is that? My analogy is this, see? Bozo is in his 40s, right? Bozo's a few years younger than me. Bozo's in his 40s, eh? Get out of the way, huh? Get out of the way. If Rowdy Rax thinks it can happen, I'm sure it can happen, eh? I don't think it's for older cat. Like, I I'm not even trying to be disrespectful, but... Bozo is, 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 is not who the streets are listening to. Not these youngsters. 
Bottles may be in their 40s are listening to it. Maybe Bottles in their 30s. But these youngsters that are like really in the street, let, man, let, let, let Rowdy Rex, if he thinks he can do that, let him set an example. And let it be what it'll be. I'm sure there's somebody up north that is like, man, this is what trips me out, man. You know, I talk about, I, I, I've said this for years. I used to say it in the joint. I say it out here, man. You can either think like a curb server or like a fucking boss. A boss sees way down the line, sees what's possible, what's in the way. How do I get this shit out of the way? Because there's money on the other side of that. A boss is thinking about money. A boss gets money. A curb server is chasing crumbs, putting himself in harm's way, fucking off his own little crumbs that he's chasing. Can't get nowhere being a curb server. I'm not saying Bozo's a curb server. Don't put words in my mouth, but I'm just saying this is this 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 is thinking in a box. Music is universal. There's somebody that's willing to work with. If he's willing to work, there's somebody willing to work with him. It can be done in a neutral spot or something. But when you have people inside the walls where this north south thing really is cracking, really cracking or was for decades really was cracking and is no longer cracking, how the hell is anybody from southern california or going to speak on that or or from northern california going to speak on that? If you got two individuals from each side that want to make music together, believe that's going to sell. Roddy Rax, I hope you do it, man. Hopefully it's something safe. Uh, and you get that bag and then let's see, let's see how, other, how, how, how many people are like, I ain't doing that. Man, that opened the floodgates. Never not standing. Even if, you know, the day comes that one has reached that, you know, peace in his heart where, um, you know, he, he, um, he's, you know, he's, he doesn't have no animosity towards us. Then, I mean, I, I guess I see where he's coming from, but at the same time, it's like, um, you know, at one point, at one point, are you willing to make new friends and disappoint your true friends how do your true friends get disappointed in you do 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 we understand the definition of a friend and friends come and go enemies accumulate i always say that but if somebody's your righteous friend you are you are of like mind you're not of an opposite mind with somebody who's your righteous friend your righteous friend wants to see you in the best position Wants to see you get the bag and you better your family. How do you disappoint a righteous friend when he's going to be of like mind? I'm just curious about that. Mm. Like, to me, that's what it comes down to. Like, what do I gain from making peace with those individuals over there? You set an example for the youngsters, eh? There, there's, there's a, and, and the end of hostilities right now in the joint. There's no northerners in Southern California. There's something going on in Northern California. I get it. But I don't understand. I I think it's the place of upstaters to come in and say stuff like that, man. It's 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 and maybe it, it, it even alleviates the stuff that they go through up there. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. Mm. Not a motherfucking thing, thing, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that artist might have peace in his heart and a trickle of them might have it but are they all gonna raise up and fuck no do all of, look, 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 let me say something even in barrios gangbanging barrios have a traditional worst enemy every barrio has a traditional worst enemy of their barrio and then there's bar, there's bottles in your barrio that are like i ain't even tripping on them with these motherfuckers there's another barrio they hate more than anything so, like, I don't know. I, I, let me let me rewind. Let me just hear this again. A trickle of them might have it, but are they all going to raise up and fuck? Not everybody thinks the same, man, is what I was getting at. No, I just, there's so many things going on in my head hearing this stuff, man. And I, I, I honestly, look, it honestly don't get it. I don't get it. You know, earlier in the interview, um, Bozo was talking about he would rather do a night, a, Go and get a nine to five, then do some stupid shit. Then don't condone it, man. Like if you are of that mentality that you would rather go get a nine to five than go and do some stupid ass shit, you can't condone the stupid shit. Condone that nine to five. Why would you rather go do a nine to five than go do some stupid shit because of your family, right? 
So then let the door open up. If Rowdy Rex feels he can open up the door and he's got support, you know what I'm talking about, then let him do that. I don't understand how older Vato's like, I give my point of view on, and, and my interpretation, my perception of things, but I don't ever try to hinder nobody. We got to get out of this mentality, man. And hip hop seems like it's such a big influence on these youngsters nowadays that if Rowdy Rax is able to do that, imagine what type of influence he could possibly be for good. If you got kids, you want the best for them, right? So what if Rowdy Rax opens a door to where Rasa stop playing that bullshit? I don't know, man. Fucking worship us for the... No, nah, man. See, hold up. What was that word? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that artist might have peace in his heart and a trickle of them might have it, but are they all going to raise up and fucking worship us for the... No, man. Who would... See, you got... words are powerful, man. Words are impactful. Guaranteed, people heard you use that use that word worship and were like, "What? Who do you worship, Bozo?" I know you can't worship a man, right? So why would any other man worship a man? That's weird. And so you know you gotta you gotta you gotta weigh out your pros and your cons. You feel what I'm saying? And to me, their demographic ain't that important to me. When I did that bands interview, he was really advocating. I don't know how to look up uh, sales. I, I really I don't know how to how to work to look up uh, sales. And again, I don't know this dude. I'm not, in no way trying to disrespect Bozo, but where are your sales at, and how great are they? And if they need help, which every artist needs help, I don't give a look. I, Drake, Drake with this damn club music, right? Club rap. He sells millions, but I'm sure there's people in his on his team that are like, damn, man, we're really not moving well in this demographic. We might be, you know, there could be another hundred thousand over here, another three hundred thousand over there. You're always trying to get into demographics, not shut demographics out. Right. Same in business. If you can expand your business, you expand it. You don't say, man, fuck that. I don't want no business over there. I don't want that. Well, fuck. I don't I don't want that money. Even though I got to pay all these bills over here, my costs are, are rising. You know, my expenses are rising. I don't want more income. Why Why want more income? I don't make sense. And to me, their demographic ain't that important to me. When I did the bands interview, he was really advocating. What is well, Hold on. His, that demographic is not that important to Bozo. Okay, well, then it might be to Roddy Rax. It might be to another rapper. It might be to these youngsters. Bozo is a voice that some of these young rappers are going to listen to. And I'm not trying to bump heads with this cat. It's, it's internet stuff. I mean, he's sitting with Adam 22. I'm not, you know, look. I just wish that that like if you're not if you're not in the equation, man, of getting that money, then you should just be like, hey, well, we'll just see. I would have been more like, hey, well, you know, let's see how that works out, man. You know, if he can open up some doors and we can get some money, let's get that money. If it was a, if it was an upstater, I, I would understand them off the top being like, fuck that because they're gangbanging like that. But it just doesn't. I just can't comprehend dudes that live in Southern California that have different type of rivals pushing prison stuff. I'm saying to me, their demographic ain't that important to me. When I did the bands interview, he was really advocating for the idea of doing a song with Lefty Gunplay where they didn't have to be in the studio together. They didn't have to shoot the video together, but they could both get on the same beat and then he'd record his part of the video and Lefty could report, record his part. Mula. Money right there. Money right there. And it should be where the, the 50 50. 50 50 on everything. Do that. That's friendly, healthy competition. I, 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 I haven't seen any of this. I only saw the little clip. This part I didn't see. I'm interested because I don't think I don't think Bozo is, is a dummy. I think he's still. His 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 mind is in a box and it's a box that's that's. 
an old way of thinking. When you look at what's going on, when you hear about what's going on in the joint, when you know you're from Southern California where there's no Northerners, and this is no no way for getting upstaters and all that, and the, the, you know, what they have to deal with. Not at all, but I'm interested to see what Bozo has to say about this. They could both get on the same beat, and then he'd record his part of the video, and Lefty could report, record his part of the video, and then they could put it out and really let the fans decide who they thought did the best. Do you think ba- that Baz, that- Baz needs to worry about his own shit, man. <laughs> Do you think that's a plausible no, idea? No, it's not that shit. That he's a fucking moron for even thinking that stupid ass <laughs> shit. That's some dumb online shit. You see where we've got to? Right. To where motherfuckers think we could play Xbox on live? Mm. Like, nah, dog. Like, get the fuck out of here. Leave the homie alone, man. Mark your own way. Do your own shit, man. Mm. You know, like, take pride in that shit. Okay. I, I see. I see what he's saying. Um, He's basically saying... um. That he feels that um, Bands isn't as known as Lefty. And so it would benefit Bands more than Lefty. I I should have looked at this ahead of time um, to see um, the views of Lefty versus Bands. So I can't I can't say that that. I don't understand what he's saying there. Um, shit, my connection failed. What is that? Well, hopefully I'm still recording because now I can't get my damn uh, my board to work. Anyways, let's get back to it. Shit, stop, stop trying to fucking leech off of us. Like trying to stop trying to use us as a as a pathway to some like dog. Make your own fucking way. That's the way it's really gonna boom. That's the way you're really gonna become a fucking legend where you're from. Do your own shit. Say fuck the other side all you want. Let your fucking nuts hang, dog, and do your shit. Mm. Like all this gimmicky shit is for suckers, man. I that's just me. You feel what I'm saying? I could be wrong, man. And maybe that's why I'm not bigger than what I. Sh- I give him credit for saying he could be wrong. He's putting it out there. I could be wrong. And I, like I said, I get. What he's saying is he feels it would be helping bands more than helping Lefty. I don't know the numbers, like I said, well enough to to say who's right and who's wrong here or if he's right or if he's wrong. But I do see that as being huge uh, as far as a money-making opportunity. Do you... like? That concept. So you would have all of Northern California. Well, you would have a lot of Northern California listening. Who's better? You would have a a lot of Southern California listening. Who's better? They would be buying those streams or whatever the hell you call them. Commenting. The money that would be that could be generated. So I guess we're doing we're not going to. So I guess people are in music nowadays. I'm, I guess, let me wrap my head around this. So people are doing music nowadays for ego and not for money. So their ego pays the rent. Right? The ego pays the rent. Um, money doesn't because fuck that. I don't want no money, man, because this dude's trying to ride on my coattails. There's a bigger picture. Should be, but fuck, I'm happy in my life, you know? Mm. I'm happy with the respect of my peers. I'm happy with the loyalty that I've always demonstrated towards my side, and I will continue to do that shit, because that's what I'm about. It seems unlikely, because I feel like the two artists would have to feel like they were on the exact same level of popularity, that it would make sense, and that's you really gotta, unlikely. You, and not only that, Nick, I'll say this. I, this I will say. Who spits the first verse? Because they get, they're at a disadvantage. And I could see, not now thinking about it, hold up. <laughs> it would have to be, they each spit a verse, boom. And then they have to go to a neutral sort, and they just mix it. Like, they put it together, and that's that. You know, they agree upon, hey, this, this for my verse is first, yours is second, whatever it is. There's not going to be no, oh, fuck, I heard it, let me rewrite. Because then the song will never come out. You know, people will be rewriting forever. No, oh, he said this, oh, let me, let me switch this line up. So I could see how it could be sticky. But if they could just agree, look, here's my shit. You could do it. Bam. You mix it however you want. You do whatever you want. Then it could work. Okay. You just said it right now. He hasn't gained that, man. Mm. You know, a a, a street fighter isn't going to call out Canelo and get a fair fight. Right. That shit has to be warranted. Earn that shit, dog. Like, get to the point where you're in the big leagues, dog. You're still a G League player right now, baby. Mm. 
You know, like, let's be realistic. Like, how does it sound me fucking calling out somebody like Benny the Butcher? Mm. Like, let's have a bar for bar battle right now. Who in the fuck am I? <laughs> you right. I respect that. I respect the humility. I get what he's saying, but I think there's money in it. The, and, and I don't know. People aren't realistic. People's ego gets ahead of their reality, dog. Mm. Like, let's be real, dog. Like, no, dog. No, you ain't there yet, dog. You know what I'm saying? And you can't even buy that shit. Mm. You know what I mean? So um, cut it out, man. They're, they're, man, I'm telling you, kids, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you respect Gold Toes? Basically, it seems like he's kind of the person that's made the most inroads in terms of like being able to form some relationships with people down south. It feels like he kind of has the best mentality that mm. you could have for that, where he's yeah. just trying to be conciliatory, trying to well, get everybody to, on the same page. Well, he's trying to exploit our merit. Mm. You know, and I can't look, I can't knock him for that as a businessman. Right. Uh, um, I can't knock him for that. Why wouldn't you? It's like it's like telling me um, what I want to. Let me see. Well, I would never do no shit like that. But I'm saying it's like if he knows that 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 it's popping over here, why wouldn't he want to attach himself to it as a business model? Right. Like, let's be real, bro. Like how many goes back to thinking like a boss. Go to just thinking like a boss. Straight up. Any northern rappers have ever blew up? None. Mm. To this day. And we've been doing this shit going on, what, 30 fucking years? Not one has popped off. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course they're going to want to attach themselves to us because that's the profitable way to go. The margin for success is down south, right? Because we support our artists and we love our artists. You know what I'm saying? They can say they rap better and all that shit. You can't prove it. Mm. You know what I mean? They're not selling out tours like the homies are. You know what I mean? They're not, they're not. I don't know the numbers, but he would. He would. And I don't know. You guys can educate me in the comments because somebody had told me the other day that, that like Lefty and other Southern artists, they go to all these other states and that the rappers from Northern California don't. I don't know that to be true. Um, is that true? Getting the collaboration that the homies are getting. They're not getting the views that the homies are getting. So where's the proof to that? So as a businessman, I get it. You know what I mean? Is it genuine? No. Mm -hmm. If somebody thinks it is, come on, man, you're stupid to think it's genuine. Like, if they were on top, would they look back to us and reach out? Fuck no. no. They'll let their nuts hang just like we are. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So we just got to be realistic and honest about this shit now. You know, I would never sit at a table with that man because mm -hmm. I don't need nothing from that man. You know what I'm saying? And, and would I ever do a deal with him? Nah, because my side has enough opportunities for me and I'm loved on my side. So... You know, I, I will never go without. My side takes care of me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Now, now for him, yeah, it's a smart business move. Hell yeah, but is it reality? Is it going to work? No, mm. it ain't going to work, dog. I wouldn't say it wouldn't work. I, I wouldn't go to the extent that it cannot work. Um, anything's possible. We've, we've seen throughout our lives and throughout the history of the fucking earth. Things that were supposedly impossible become possible. And it's usually because of the work of the ideas of individuals and then those individuals coming together to make it happen. And um, But Bozo is making some good points as far as um, if that's true, that rappers from southern california are going on tour and they're selling out big venues i don't know a big venue is not a like a lowrider show though right we're talking about a big venue and they're doing that then i get what he's saying is hey we we did it we we made it happen and so why would we relinquish that um i hear that but i also feel like maybe because there's there's an opportunity to make even more money um, my board, I don't know what's going on with my board. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and cut it short here because I don't even know if I'm recording at this point. I can't see it. Um, you guys let me know in the, in the comment sections, how you feel once again, no disrespect to anyone in this video, but I feel like I have to be fair and where someone is right. I will, I will point that out where I feel I disagree. I will say why, um, it's it's dangerous for me. I've always believed it's dangerous for a man to tell another man he's wrong. So that's why I don't want to use that word right now. It's very rare that I ever use that word. But I, there's just some things that I disagree with. And I really believe that uh, um, as someone in his 40s, 
he should be more uh, willing to let these youngsters um, entertain new avenues of bringing in money because it's important. With that said, everybody, please be safe, be smart. Hold on, let me get, I got to back all the way out of here. Be smart and tell the ones you love that you love. I am recording. So I don't know what happened to the board. This thing's crazy. Right, you guys. I'm out.